good morning. It's a beautiful morning. So how do you move forward when, you know, you've been told something that, that you see as a stopping point? Like you've been told that you can't, so this could be physically, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the things. Like if you've been told something, like say you've had an injury or you're in dis-ease, you have a disease or you've been given some sort of uh, diagnosis and you're told that, you know, this, this is it, you're, this is how it's going to be. How do you move forward from that? And I wanna tell you, I've been called to share a couple of things with you this morning. So this two to five minute video could possibly, you know, change your life or, you know, you might hear something that could just, you'd have to share with someone else that, for hope that there is always, you know, that hope of change, anything is possible. And so I'm here to share with you that it doesn't have to be that way. And how do I know? It's because I know. Like it's a knowing. You know what I mean? It's not a it's not a knowledge thing, it's not a belief thing, it's a knowing. So I'll give you a quick example of something that happened to me twenty uh it's been twenty-eight years now, twenty-three years. Uh so I had a uh, an accident, an incident whatever you want to call it, a challenge, something happening. <laughs> and um, I was told that I would likely not walk properly again, that I would have a limp. And I wouldn't say, and I, well, I know for sure, I was not practicing positivity <laughs> back then. I, was, I often, as that saying goes, saw the cup half empty <laughs> you know so I wasn't a positive person but I had a knowing and an intention that then like no uh, I will walk properly again I will do all these things again because I was told there was a lot of things I wouldn't be able to do and I've done them all the reason why I'm sharing that with you is that not only did that yeah, I can move myself forward but then later the change of events or chain of events has now allowed me to help so many people. You know, possibly you, if you whoever you know is listening um, to this today. And so, where am I going with this? <laughs> to have a knowing. And I'll give you some examples of people that came to me and I was sort of their last not sort of, I was their last, early, I was told I was their last resort uh, for help, that they had attempted to reach out or exhausted all efforts. Many came with, I mean, now I'm talking physical stuff, came with last rites from the hospital. Like, they were that sick. They were that diagnosed. They were in that place. Okay, and... Now keep in mind, and this might be, you know, today for you, and it may not be, you might be ready to hear this. Not only do I have a knowing, but I'm in touch with the power within that you and I and all of us as beings, we are attached to a source, a powerful source, one that beats our heart. We don't even have to think about it. So when you're in a place of you need to move forward. Seek out those that have the knowing, that have tapped into source within. And um, there's some real cuties here. Good morning. I always stay in the moment. And when you're with, in the presence of someone who's tapped into um, that knowing, and we all have the power within to heal ourselves. We all, you may not know that yet, 
but there may come a time when you'll be like, there's got to be more. So you can heal yourself with the power within. And so anyways, to give you some examples of the beauty that I've been able to witness through me, like I feel, I've said this, I'm like a conduit, okay? And I've had people come to me, uh, cancer, okay? And um, <clears throat> they were able to move forward and have um, three more months, I can change hands, <laughs> three more months of, of life, okay, and I've had people come that had areas of their body internally that were supposed to be like shut down, like not working anymore. I'm talking limbs, I'm talking organs that were shut down, that reawakened. I had a lady that had a brain tumor, 40 years. She had come to me, she had already had it removed 40 years prior to coming to me. She had it removed from the back of her head, told she would never sing or dance again. She was in her uh, late 70s or 80s when she came to me. I'm telling you, within eight weeks, I mean, she was stuttering. Uh, she wasn't able to uh, walk properly. She was repeating herself. Uh, she couldn't sing, definitely not sing or dance. And within eight weeks, much of that happened. Let's just, just let that settle for a minute. Yes, I have education. Yes, I have knowledge in what I practice and what I do.